Hello and welcome to Research Pod. Thank you for listening and joining us today. In this episode, we look at the work of Professor Lama Musawi and Rahada Kawas at the Suleiman S. Olayan School of Business, American University of Beirut. Lebanon lacks the data infrastructure and governance rules needed to support public sector data analysis, and together, the team examine how Lebanon can promote data analytics to improve policymaking and service delivery. In the process, they reveal how open data and AI can help Lebanon become a more informed and equitable society. We live in an increasingly digital world where information can be readily gathered and analyzed to enhance understanding and improve action. Data science is a broad term that covers the various ways of extracting valuable insights from digital information. It's a multidisciplinary field that embraces statistics, mathematics, computer science, and coding. Data modeling, visualization, and predictive analytics can reveal patterns in disparate information to help policymakers make accurate, evidence-based decisions. Professor Lama Musawi and Rahada Kawas from the Suleiman S. Oleyan School of Business, American University of Beirut, have produced a wide-ranging report that examines how data science can transform public sector service delivery and governance in Lebanon. Their policy brief combines case studies from the Middle East and North Africa. Key points from their brief have been raised by speakers at the 2023 Women in Data Science Conference at the American University of Beirut, the region's largest learning event for data science research. Musawi and Kawas cite a 2021 study by KPMG and Microsoft that confirms the positive contribution of data science on public service delivery across the Middle East and North Africa. They also highlight the Smart Dubai project that uses publicly shared open data to inform analytics that improve the Emirates' public transportation and healthcare systems. A similar Saudi government initiative, the National Open Data Portal, promotes transparency and accountability in government by providing open access to data libraries from various departments. Artificial intelligence developers can also use these public data sets to train their models. AI plays a crucial role in public sector transformation across the Emirates and Saudi Arabia. Musawi and Kawas emphasize how analytics enriched by open data can enhance decision-making, optimize resource allocation, and promote innovation for the benefit of the nation's citizens. The researchers draw attention to the various difficulties in applying advanced data analytics. A society may have skills shortages and no comprehensive data infrastructure to draw upon. Public data provision can only exist when supported by effective, trustworthy public institutions. These challenges are particularly clear in Lebanon, a country whose public services and civil society are severely strained by economic crises and political instability. Musawi and Kawas recommend that Lebanon establish a data science hub for public policy to address skill shortages, support research, and encourage collaboration between data scientists and policymakers. They also suggest partnerships between academics, the private sector, and the state to develop data-driven decision-making. The government can encourage information sharing by adopting open data practices. Musawi and Kawas also identify the need to invest in data literacy programs for public sector employees. Data-driven policies can transform public sector delivery in ways that also strengthen civil society. This was the focus of Dr. Carol al sharabatis talk at the 2023 Women in Data Science Conference. She firmly believes that data modeling has benefited the policing, governance, and media sectors in Lebanon. As a standout example, the recent application of data analytics in police control centers has reduced crime by 30%. She also pointed to the ability of AI to identify fraud in aid distribution and to detect misinformation in media output. Musawi and Kawas add social justice as another key area that data science can improve. They suggest that social welfare policy delivery can benefit from data science's ability to identify deprived groups allowing the state to accurately target scarce resources. Using data science to formulate public policy is at the introductory stage in Lebanon. 
The research team stressed the importance of building a data governance and legal framework. The access to information law, known as ATI, has been a good start. The Lebanese public sector is applying ATI to access data across the economy and society, such as healthcare records, education, and urban planning data. Ms. Brigitte Kerr Mountain, United Nations Senior Women Talent Group, spoke at the 2023 WIDS conference, indicating that Lebanon still needed to build a data infrastructure. Some current laws support digital transformation, such as the e transaction and personal data law but these need clarity and a wider context. A data governance framework is required, including data sharing agreements. Musawi and Kawas recommend that Lebanon improve data infrastructure via investment needed for successful implementation. There also needs to be governance initiatives, such as data sharing agreements. Legislation is also required to achieve this shift to a digital culture, particularly in data protection. Regulation to protect personal information can encourage greater data provision by encouraging public trust. Ms. Kerr Mountain also used the 2023 Women in Data Science Conference to examine the contribution of data science to the management of disasters, a current concern for Lebanon with an ongoing Syrian refugee challenge. Airborne data from drones can feed computer analytics that report, model, and predict the course of stress events allowing the potential to anticipate and mitigate problems. The analysis of people movement in real time is a powerful tool for policymakers and responders. Musawi and Kawas added content from the United Nations ESCWA report published by the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia. This shows that data analysis related to conflicts, such as demographics, health records, and social media activity, can provide valuable insights into refugee crises. For example, data analysis can identify particular regions that will come under stress with the increased flow of refugees. Their policy brief highly recommends these use cases to improve Lebanon's disaster management, preparedness, and response. Dr. Rima Turk Iris, a senior economist at the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, told participants at the 2023 WIDS conference how the IMF uses data to assess a country's economy and identify trends to inform policymaking. She suggests governments should engage in regular Article 4 consultations with the IMF, particularly a risk evaluation that can anticipate a crisis event. This could provide an opportunity for policymakers to take mitigating measures. Musawi and Kawas strongly endorse this advice in their policy brief. Information sharing, open data, and data protection law lie at the heart of the successful application of data science across the public sector. Informed by the use cases highlighted in Musawi and Kaos's paper, Lebanon's public sector and civil society can be significantly strengthened by its wide-scale adoption. When asked to weigh up the risks and benefits of open data practices, Professor Musawi and Kaos remark that, Open data, defined as the provision of accessible information by public entities for unrestricted use, represents a cornerstone in modern data practices. Its fundamental principle lies in the unrestricted availability and accessibility of data to individuals, businesses, academia, nonprofits, and other entities. The benefits of open data are adaptable and substantial encompassing enhanced transparency, improved governance, and catalyzing economic growth. Transparency, a key characteristic of open data, fosters public trust in governmental institutions and civil servants, thus enabling better management of public policy and increased citizen participation. Moreover, open data prompts innovation and economic development by facilitating the creation of new products, enhancing productivity, and generating employment opportunities. Furthermore, it extends its positive influence to culture and the environment. However, open data initiatives also entail certain risks, including the substantial cost associated with implementing and maintaining open data infrastructure. Additionally, the uncritical sharing of data may compromise individual privacy rights, raising concerns over data ownership, consent, and potential misuse. Legal ambiguities surrounding data usage and privacy highlight the need for comprehensive frameworks to address these challenges. 
Moreover, open data also poses risks of discrimination and social sorting if not managed ethically. Therefore, while embracing open data practices, it is imperative to adopt robust mechanisms for evaluating, safeguarding, and responsibly sharing data. By addressing these challenges effectively, open data can continue to serve as a powerful tool for driving transparency, innovation, and societal progress in the digital age. Finally, the research team remark on how data protection legislation across the region may serve as a template for adoption by Lebanon going forward. When considering examples of data protection legislation across the region that could potentially serve as a template for adoption by Lebanon, several significant models appear. The United Arab Emirates presents a comprehensive framework through its Data Protection Law of 2021, which addresses various issues but notably excludes government entities. Similarly, the Abu Dhabi Global Market and Dubai International Financial Center have enacted laws with elements akin to the EU's General Data Protection Regulation, providing valuable insights for emulation. However, it's essential to note that several countries in the region, such as Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, Syria, and Yemen lack comprehensive data protection laws, emphasizing the importance of developing robust regulatory frameworks to safeguard personal data effectively. Drawing from these regional examples, Lebanon could strategically tailor its data protection legislation to align with international best practices and address its specific socioeconomic context, ultimately fostering trust, innovation, and digital growth. That's all for this episode. Thanks for listening. Links to the original research can be found in the show notes for this episode. And be sure to stay subscribed to ResearchPod for more of the latest science. See you again soon.